In the final presentation, we'll look at regulation of members and discipline processes. In this presentation, we've selected to visualize this topic in the art theme of 3D rendering with isometric view. This theme reflects the structured approach in managing discipline processes within professional settings. The first topic is on discipline procedures. Let's begin by looking at a couple of key terms. Unprofessional conduct or professional misconduct is a term used to describe any action that would be reasonably regarded as dishonorable, disgraceful, or unprofessional. It's one of the most common types of complaints received by associations. Examples include, but are not limited to, discrimination, harassment, sealing a drawing without preparing or checking it, a criminal conviction, engaging in conflicts of interest, and negligence. Unskilled practice refers to the lack of necessary skills or the improper application of skills in performing professional duties. It implies a deficiency in technique, execution, or adherence to standards. Unskilled practice is conduct by a member that is deemed by the association to be against the public's best interest, unethical, damaging to the profession's reputation, or shows incompetence or poor judgment. The purpose of an association disciplining its members is to ensure the protection of the public. Legislation gives associations the responsibility and ability to discipline their members. After your association receives a complaint, it will gather evidence and then respond. The response depends on the complaint type. They will be dismissed for frivolous complaints with little evidence or support. Additional steps would be taken for more serious complaints, such as unethical or unskilled practice. All the evidence would be gathered and reviewed by the association. Where there is sufficient evidence, a discipline hearing will take place. These hearings are typically public and are the first time in the process that the information may be made available to the public. If the hearings involve commercially sensitive information or matters of national security, the hearing may not be available for public attendance. If found guilty, the member may be fined, suspended, have their license restricted, or have conditions attached. A suspension may be for a specific time or until certain actions have been completed by the member, such as attending a university course or completing an ethics seminar. Limitations placed on a license may mean that the member works under the supervision of a professional or under periodic inspections. Have you ever thought about reporting a member for their quality of practice? If yes, what do they do? What evidence would the association have? Do you think the association would have sufficient evidence to discipline the member? 6.2 covers the practice review of individuals. The purpose of a practice review is to protect the public by reviewing the practices of professional members to ensure standards are being met. This may be done proactively, such as auditing continuing education hours, or by the request of the board if the member has been disciplined, or if a member is resuming practice. Practice reviews for continuing professional development, CPD, are typically done on a random basis by your association's council, where they ask the member to submit evidence of what they claimed for their development hours. Practice reviews for discipline is typically done by the association's board to ensure the member is practicing in, in accordance with the act and regulations. If issues are found, the board may request its investigation committee to probe deeper into the practices. Once the decision or order has been made, the member has a right to make an appeal 
to the appeal board for further analysis. If a review finds that the member is not meeting the standards of practice, the consequences can include restrict the practice, require another member to oversee their work, require additional training, cancel the license, issue a fine, and publish the findings on the association's website.